Hello everyone and welcome back to another story time on my channel Are We Cuckoo Now? You guys seem to be really enjoying these and I honestly love that. If you guys enjoy it, it makes me happy. That's all I want. And uh, the whole point of these stories is to just, you know, inspire, to, to give you knowledge and at the same time also to make you aware of things. As with my story for today, it's going to be a little bit dark. So I want to warn you beforehand, before I start talking about it, if uh, you are not comfortable with these kinds of stories, then please, you know, go watch something else. If you are easily triggered, then I think it won't be a good idea for you to watch this. But if you're willing to learn, be aware, and also have your mind uh, be more alert, then I would, I would uh, suggest you watch this. Because this happened to me when I was a young kid. And I remember it like it was yesterday. I think I was around the age of eight or nine. I used to live in a neighborhood uh, that was close to Woodside. It was a family home and it was two levels to it. It was our level and above us were neighbors. I was a young kid, naive, stupid, and I thought the world was, was safe and beautiful and, and filled with nothing negative. I was hanging out at this guy's house. Um, I was very, very young. I was little and uh, I think the guy's age was maybe around early 20s to mid 20s, so around 22 to 25 or so. And uh, I thought, you know, as a young kid, this guy was my friend, so I was hanging out with him and it was just me and him alone. Now this story I've never really told anyone. The only person that knows about this story is my mother. And uh, you will know why from the story. I don't think it's important to give his name because if someone does have that name, I don't want them to feel any negativity. And at the same time, I don't want uh, people to throw the name at me all the time because I don't, I don't want to hear it. So we were hanging out at his place. We were watching cartoons. Uh, we were outside and we just decided to go to his place. No one was home, it was just me and him. So as we were watching cartoons, time passed and he's like, I want to show you something. So he gets up from the couch and he goes to his video library and he takes out a, uh, a videotape. He puts that videotape in the VCR. I myself being naive and stupid, I thought he was going to put in like another cartoon or some you know new movie or something that I've never seen before. He puts the video in the VCR and it turns out to be porno. Um, and again, this is a completely true story. I'm not lying. I swear on my life this is something that really happened in my life and it's true. I remember it just like it was yesterday. I can remember every screen vividly and what was going on in that video. Uh, I'm not going to describe it to you, of course, but uh, you could imagine what I was seeing on screen. When I was watching that, I didn't know what to think of it. I just thought it was disgusting, nasty, and why is he showing me this? What's going on? But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel any um, threat. I, I didn't feel anything uh, bad was about to happen. I just, I just thought it was normal. Like it was like, okay, this is, you know, naked people on the screen doing weird stuff. For lack of a better word, I wasn't scared. I wasn't worried that something might happen. Today, I know exactly what he was trying to do because, you know, studying it and, and watching all these videos and, and everything about it on the news, you start to learn as you grow. This guy was definitely a predator. They have these preliminary tactics in which they show you pornography, whether it's going to be in magazines or a form of a videotape. This guy showed it to me through videotape on a VCR. When I was young, I didn't know all that. So he was, we were watching the tape and I was, I mean, I would say maybe five minutes, not even, have gone through we were watching the tape. Basically, I was like a deer caught in headlights. You know, when they just stare at the headlights and they just freeze? That was me, basically. So you would think, you know, after that, it gets really bad. Well, luckily for me, it didn't get bad. Why? Because my mother saved me. She came at the right time. She came upstairs and she knocked on the door and called for me. And when he heard the knock, he quickly turned off the VCR, pulled out the video, and then he quickly scoured through all the, what we were watching before and he put in back the cartoon and he sat normally. And then um, he went to answer the door because my mom wanted to pick me up. But I swear to God, guys, when they say mother's intuition or, or gut feeling, it's true. Mothers have that. And my mom had that at that time and she saved me. When she came up, I saw from her face that she looked very, very annoyed and very angry. That was one thing. For me, I was like, you know, like, oh, he just turned off the tape and, and he, he put in the cartoon. And then I remember myself uh, seeing the tape, the porno tape, he took out and put on, on, uh, on, the, on the ground to try to switch up for another video. And I punched the porno tape. I was like, that's bad. You know, like, that was, that was, that's bad. So I just, I knew that it was 
something I didn't like. So I remember that I punched it and I was like, that's bad. You know, young kid just punching something and saying that's bad. I, I, I was scared. I thought that she might have thought that I did something wrong, you know, because as a young kid, you feel like, you know, everything is your fault for some reason. He quickly changed and he was scared. And I was wondering why, why is this guy scared? And he went quickly to the door and, and opened the door like a regular person, totally normal. Yeah, me and, and your son are watching uh, cartoons and stuff like that. And she's like, can you please bring uh, my, my son? And I went to her and she picked me up and bounced. Years have gone by where nobody has knew this story and I've never told my mother. But, uh, you know, once I finally hit my 20s, I felt comfortable enough to tell her. And I told her and she said she knew. She had a feeling that something was going on and it was about to happen. And she came at the right time. You know, so that just be a lesson to mothers. Don't leave your young kids alone with anyone. See, I, I got really lucky because my mom came at the right time. Now imagine my mother wasn't around at that time. What could have happened? I don't even want to think about it. But I know that as a young kid, I hopefully would have had the, the strength to fend for myself. One of the main things that I've learned through my growth and being an adult now is that, you know, this could have turned into something horrible, something worse. And this is what predators do. Uh, I literally could have been raped that day. I could have been sexually abused or assaulted. I hope this guy, you know, gets what he deserves and what's coming to him, and he probably has. And that's why I'm sharing this story with you today. It's, it's, it's a little embarrassing, but at the same time, it's empowering to, to let you know that, you know, things could happen like this to anyone, you know, no matter who you are or, wh or who you're with. Don't trust anyone, obviously. You can't trust anybody uh, unless they give you reason to trust them. I also am saying this not to, to boast about it because I'm sure there's people out there who have experienced horrible things that didn't and weren't lucky to avoid it. I don't want to talk any, they're, they are not and they should not be seen as any less of a person. They uh, hopefully have gotten through it and can use that strength and to help save other people. Uh, you know, if you have young kids, whatever, be, be with them all the time and be sure you know where they're at. The guy uh, moved out after that and then um, my family brought their own family and we lived together in the whole uh, house, which was good. You know, when I was younger, after that happened, I never really thought of it, but it was always running in the back of my mind. Like, what was going on? What happened that day? Why was my mom worried? Why angry? Like, she came at the right time, but why was this guy showing me this? Why was I watching that? Like, what? Like why? So many whys in my life. And I'm glad I kept doing that because that's what made me remember it. Until I hit the certain point in my age where I could understand it. And I understood it. And I was like, damn. I really could have been, you know, I, something really bad could have happened that day. There's nothing I could say about it other than the fact that, you know, if I ever did see this guy, ever, ever met him, I don't think it would be pretty. For sure. Because, not because of myself as a young kid, you know but also for other young kids that you would want to protect, you know? It's, and it's absolutely insane to know that people like that exist and they prey on young, innocent kids who are, aren't able to fend for themselves or even think. Like, I was a young kid who couldn't... I wasn't even able to think clearly at that time. Like, you know, everything... I was so innocent. Everything was just so pure to me at a young age. You know, I could have seen someone murder someone and, and think it's a game and they're playing something and they're playing together and the guy's gonna get up in, in a few seconds. That's how naive I was, you know, even though I wasn't touched and he didn't do anything to me, it still lingers in my mind because you start to realize what was about to happen and what could have happened, you know, and that's even scarier. I hope that you all stay safe and I hope you guys somewhat enjoy this story. I know it's, it's not uh, really positive or bright, but it is the truth and it is the nasty truth of this world and I share it with you so you could protect yourselves and, and be safe. So uh, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for April 1st because I see that a lot of you are believing anything nowadays. So with my newest video on Are We Famous Now, a lot of you have unsubscribed, which is crazy. It's just insane to see that people would believe anything these days. So I hope you guys continue to support and come back for all the people that unsubscribed. I hope you come back because <laughs> you'll find out tomorrow why I made that video. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow also with a new vlog on this channel. So two videos for tomorrow. So peace, love, and unity, and I'll see you though later. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you. Put your bad memories to bed. 
you up for all to see. 